we are at Chipping Walden today and we're progressing with the tunnel installation behind me. As a simple term, it's like a jigsaw. We, we have connecting parts and using the crane, they just slot into place and it's as simple as that. So as you see, we're doing some parallel activities and, and that's to maintain the program, to progress well and, and to work efficiently. We've got a team concentrating on the installation of the precast units. Whilst we install the, the main arch, inside of the tunnels we have the, the operatives putting down the steelwork for the, the track bed, which we call the invert slab. And in order for us to do that, they, they put the reinforcement down and, and then we're using our own batching plant to put for the concrete slab. And then we've got a separate team continuing on with the earthworks and again carrying on with the concrete platform to do the waterproofing. And that enables the team to sequence, to move in a linear manner progressively across the tunnel. Previous to this, we've done a lot of work before we've mobilised uh, for the local communities. So this time last year, we opened up the relief road that takes away construction traffic from local villages. That allows the contractors to mobilise into Chipping Walden with minimal disruption. Whilst we were doing that on site, we had our prefabrication contractor building the segments behind me off site. So they were then logistically planned to, to be delivered, again to reinforce this was taken on to minimise noise disruption around local communities. It minimised the traffic on site. We remove a, a number of wagons off the roads and that allows us to deliver a job by having the community in mind to make sure people are not disrupted. The team morale is really great. We're working together here uh, side by side in the office. We're working on challenging problems at Chipping Walden. The efforts we've put in to see it in reality, years of planning, intricate detail, you know, it's great to see.